What's going on, my PR Sense family? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose. So today we're going to be reviewing Mason Magella's replica Lazy Sunday Morning. Um, I was at, I forget where I was. I think I got it at TJ Maxx. Um, it was just laying there, a little 1.7 ounce bottle. So I figured, what the heck, let me get it. Um, it was on clearance, uh, which is really weird. I don't think they knew what they had. So I got lucky on that one. And uh, I have replicas by the fireplace, which I love. So I figured, let me get this one and see what it smells like and let you guys know what I think about it. Uh, also, I'm gonna start a new thing uh, where at the end of my video, so if you guys stick around, at the end of my video, I'm gonna start doing a little segment. Uh, I haven't figured out a name for it yet, but a layering segment. So I'm just gonna do like, give you one idea of all the research I've done one really nice layering um you know combo so stick around for that if you if you uh, want to know about some really cool layering combos so stick around and i will see you guys in a second thanks guys All right, guys, so like I said, today we're gonna to be reviewing Replica's Lazy Sunday Morning by Mason Margellas. Um, I got a small little bottle, uh, and this is it. It says, uh, originally Lazy Sunday Morning and Providence, Providence and period, Florence 2003. I've been to Florence, I love Florence. I can't tell you enough how much I love Florence. I spent 30 days in Florence. Um, I just said heck with it. Life sucks here, and so I just picked up and left and rented an apartment in Florence and stayed there for a month. It was phenomenal. I definitely recommend you guys should do a little excursion like that once in your life. Um, and it says soft skin and bed linen is what the fragrance description is. Um, and the style description is memory in a fragrance. Now, most of their bottles have the same kind of uh, configuration as far as the little rope at the top and everything. This has a slight, slight pink color to it. Um, and I got it in a little gift set. It's got a, a cream and this, so that was pretty cool. Now, this is considered unisex. It came out in 2013 and I didn't really know what I was gonna get, but I, I did read a lot about it and people say, it gives you a feeling of being in a in a bed with really nice laundry, you know, that nice laundry smell that you get from the bed sheets when you first, you know, put them on the bed after you've cleaned them, um, that nice linen kind of feel. So that's what you get, you know, as far as the description is for, for this one. Um, what I get is, here, I'll tell you, the atomizer is not bad at all. It's really, really nice. What it reminds me of is a fragrance that I bought, God, two years ago by Latafa called Mali. Um, I've, I've shown it a couple of times and it's a very rosy kind of fragrance. Leans a little bit too feminine for me, um, but uh, Brenda loves it. It's really, really nice. And that reminds me, this reminds me of that one. Now it has top notes of aldehydes. Now aldehydes, give a fragrance a very soapy, waxy, um, lemony floral kind of scent. And that definitely describes this a little less on the waxy, but definitely that that floral feel to it. Um, it also has lily of the valley and pear. And then it's mid notes of rose, iris, and orange blossom. And then it's base notes of white musk, musk, ma musk mallow, and Indonesian patchouli leaf. Um, what I get mostly out of it is a very slightly earthy, flowery rose kind of scent. I would say that to me, it leans very feminine. Like it's, it's, it's more feminine than not. But guys, you know, if you're in the market for smelling a little different than everybody else, not a bad scent. I actually wore it last night when I went out for dinner. Um, and... I like it, I really do like it, but it's not something that I'm gonna reach for a lot. Now, the replicas, aside from by the fireplace, are known for not having a very 
good longevity or projection. And this is no different. This thing, it becomes a skin scent fairly quickly. You get maybe two to three hours out of it as far as, you know, it, it's smelling and people can smell you, but then they have to get very, very close to you to, to smell it. Um, but it does smell really nice if you like a rosy kind of fragrance, a rosy, flowery, clean, soapy kind of fragrance. This is for you. Um, it's got, yeah, like I said, a clean laundry kind of feel to it with, with that rose in the background. So do I like it? Yeah. But would I say it's Jose Coffee worthy? Kind of at a 60%, you know, because again, lean's very feminine and it's not super unique. I have a whole bunch of fragrances that kind of smell like this. Infinity Rose uh, kind of smells like this. Like I said, Molly kind of smells like this. So it's not this breakthrough fragrance like by the fireplaces because by the fireplace i just love i can't get enough of that one um so that's that review for that um and you know for 165 dollars for a 3.4 ounce bottle i would say you could probably find something cheaper that could be close to that i'm sure dua or dossier uh, makes a clone of this and i would say buy that before you buy this so you could get a feel for what you're gonna get if you do spend $165 at Sephora for a 3.4 ounce bottle. They, like I said, they also have a 1.7 ounce bottle so you could you know, get it for maybe $80, $90 I think is, $85 I think Sephora sells a 1.7 ounce bottle. Or just go to Sephora and spray it and see what you think. Um, so yeah, so that's that that review of that particular fragrance. And now it's time to go into my layering combo segment. So I've been doing a lot of research. I've been getting more and more into this layering combo thing. And I found a really, really good one for you guys. Um, it is, believe it or not, it is, now you can do this with two different ones. Club de Nuit Intense Men, okay? And this is the, the original Club de Nuit Intense Men mixed with Ariana Grande's Cloud. Now, Ariana Grande's Cloud is known to be a very inexpensive uh, clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, I also have Ana Abied Rouge, which is also a clone of Baccarat uh, 540. I've got a couple of other ones. So you can, you can play with it, but you spray a one-to-one, -one, this first, and then the Ariana Grande Cloud second. And guys, it works really, really well. It, you know, our CDMI is, is a clone of Creed Aventus. Um, and what the cloud does to it is it gives it a sweeter, kind of marshmallowy kind of a feel. Um, you still smell the Creed Aventus, but then just with a sweetness and a candy kind of, of feel to it. And it works really, really well. Now the other combo that you can try is again, some Baccarat Rouge 540 uh, clone or Baccarat Rouge 540 if you have that, you wanna spend you know, the little spray because that thing is expensive with uh, Dior Sauvage EDT um, or Perfume. Don't do it with the Elixir, but try it. It smells delicious guys, really, really good. So this is a segment I'm gonna be doing at the end of every uh, video, I hope. Um, and I, if you guys like it, let me know and I'll, I'll keep on doing it. So that's all I have for you guys today. As always, guys, please do me a huge favor. If you like this content, please subscribe, please like, please comment, and you know what to do. You guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.